So astrophysicist and science educator Neil deGrasse Tyson this Christmas tweeted a, his most popular tweet ever, actually. On this day long ago, a child was born who, by age 30, would transform the world. Happy birthday, Isaac Newton. Birthday, December 25th, 1642. Now, a lot of Christians got very upset by this, and they tweeted him, and there was a little bit of a controversy, so Neil made the following statement. Everybody knows that Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus on December 25th. I think fewer people know that Isaac Newton shares the same birthday, Christmas Day in England, 1642. And perhaps even fewer people know that before he turned 30, Newton had discovered the laws of motion, the universal law of gravitation, and invented integral and differential calculus, all of which served as the mechanistic foundation for the Industrial Revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries that would forever transform the world. So basically, Neil deGrasse Tyson is doing what Neil deGrasse Tyson does, trying to educate people. And here are some of the reactions from Christians and creationists. Uh, I'm going to start with the most intelligent and insightful one available, which is... Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Creationists, a lot of them like to hide behind their, their like, you know, their, this language, this impenetrable wall of bullshit language, like, irreducible complexity, why are there still monkeys, crocoduck, whatever. Uh, it's nice to see one that just cuts right to the point. Fuck you, Neil deGrasse Tyson, for trying to teach me something I didn't know. Neil deGrasse Tyson sends out tweets mocking Christmas. Big brave scientist atheist pokes fun on holiday. Hashtag Cosmos Jerk. Is it really mocking Christmas to celebrate the fact that Isaac Newton was born on Christmas? I don't see how. I'm failing to see how that mocks Christmas. In fact, that's another reason to celebrate Christmas. I think that's what Neil deGrasse was getting at. You know that obnoxious atheist friend who's 12 times as preachy as a televangelist? Throw in a cheesy mustache, that's Neil deGrasse Tyson. First of all, how dare you call Neil deGrasse Tyson's mustache cheesy? I mean, unless cheesy has evolved into a good thing, because... You know, I can't keep track of this lingo. I'm old now. I'm an old fucking man. Nearly 30. Shit. So I can't follow what these kids be saying these days. I'm not hip and with it and rattled they should do something anymore. But maybe cheesy is a good thing now. I think that's what this is. He's saying it's cheesy like in a good way. Like Chester Cheetah. Fucking easy to be cheesy. That's what's going on. I feel that. Neil deGrasse Tyson is preachy as a televangelist. He, you know, the difference between Neil deGrasse Tyson and a televangelist is Neil deGrasse Tyson is actually um, putting out information. A televangelist is just trying to scare people with a fucking scary monster in the sky that judges you all the time. Uh, that There's a difference there. Scientific knowledge, historical knowledge, interesting philosophical thought. There you go, Neil deGrasse Tyson, televangelist. You going to hell! I think there's a difference. <sighs> Proselytizing atheist with a mustache ruins Christmas. What is all this obsession with the mustache? What is with the big deal about a man having a fucking mustache? Like, he has a mustache, goddammit! Case closed, argument won. Some atheist with a mustache was trying to fucking tell us what's what. Uh-uh, bullshit. Ain't no one gonna educate me about Isaac Newton, not on my fucking watch, bitch! DeGrasse Tyson is less of a scientist and more of an annoying atheist crusader these days. First of all, how is pointing out that Isaac Newton was born on Christmas being an atheist crusader? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Of course, I guess you're mad at the way that he downplays Jesus and upplays Isaac Newton. Well, you know what? He's a scientist. Maybe he has a little bit more reverence for Isaac Newton. Are you saying that that's fallacious? Are you saying that he can't choose whom he personally idolizes and people can't agree with him? That maybe Isaac Newton was more important than Jesus of fucking Nazareth? Famous hashtag atheist, hashtag atheism believers include Neil deGrasse Tyson, Joseph Stalin, spelled wrong, and Adolf Hitler. 
Hashtag God is good. Hashtag God crew. What a very honest representation of atheism. And uh, by the way, Hitler was not an atheist. Read Mein Kampf. Full of references to God. Full of references to doing God's will. Same with his fucking speeches. Joseph Stalin, you got me on that one. Joseph Stalin was an atheist. And you know what? Like I said a moment ago, Hitler was a Christian. What does that mean? Nothing. Fun fact. Isaac Newton was a creationist. Where's your God now, Neil? That's right, Isaac Newton was a creationist in the 17th century. But you know what? Some stuff has happened since then. I'm not going to say for sure that if he were alive today, he would be an atheist. But given that so many scientists are, I think it's probably likely, and I don't think anyone should speak for what any historical figure would have seen were they living in modern times. There's no way for us to know that, and if you want to just speculate, that's fine. But to say he was a creationist, yeah, he was a creationist in a totally different context than the creationists of today. Amazing clowns like this can insult my savior, yet if I say Merry Christmas, it's viewed as insensitive or insulting. You know, I am one of the most virulent atheist, anti-theists around, and I do not give a shit if you say Merry Christmas. For fuck's sake, I say Merry Christmas. I don't care. Very few people do. Uh, and where did Neil deGrasse Tyson insult your savior? All he did was praise Isaac fucking Newton. You piece of shit. How dare you blaspheme a holy day for billions. When it's Muhammad's birthday, will you do the same? Do we even know when Muhammad's birthday is? And yes, I'm sure Neil deGrasse Tyson finds Islam every bit as irrational as Christianity. It's not like he's just picking on your religion. Um, and once again, he didn't insult your holy day. So everything about this reaction is just crazy to me. <sighs> I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out. If you like this shirt, you can get a shirt like this, or you can get many other pro-atheist, pro-science shirts at AmazingAtheistTees.com. The link is down below.